Hello, my name is Valikar, nice to meet you and welcome back to Drive Call Steel 3. So I'm ready to continue. You you know what's funny? I I, I just released that <laughs> we are just <laughs> in the first day. <laughs> it's not even afternoon because in the afternoon we got more stuff to do, right? Normally. We are not even there, we are in the morning. I like this, I love this. Look, look, I was fishing. And then I discovered that I think I need to change the road of the fishing because it break a lot. So yeah, so let's go. Very well, I'm up. Uh, yes. They didn't say like the story would move on. What happened? Wait, what, why Altina? Okay, they're gonna talk. Oh my god! Everything is like so cordon don dozen dozen. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who's gonna be there? A bar? Freaky! <laughs> god damn it! Oh my god! Oh my god! This guy is here. All right, and he did have demon. The oh, oh, cross. Oh, oh. That Ashen Kid and Kruger, huh? <laughs> Not bad, I guess. But I think I'll just focus on the target for now. Wait, 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 wait. What target? I'll leave those pain in the ass experiments to him. Who is him? Campanella. Things are gonna get interesting if our masked friend starts moving too. Masked friend. Phantom B. Again? Ah, uh, yeah. We never kill anybody. <laughs> they are never defeated. Mask. The only one with mask that I remember is Phantom B. Yeah. Why did he tell us to write ahead of them? What could they be talking about? Something secret, no double. Shut up, Carl. I agree, it is concerning, but please keep the bike steady, you know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the wind feels just lovely. Riding alone, just the two of us. Oh, I mustn't tell. <laughs> hey, that relationship. <laughs> I don't think it's quite that big of a deal. But that aside, you can't tell me. Huh? You say you want to ride alone with me. There was something you want to talk about, right? Something you don't want to s the student to hear. No, something you don't want Alicia to hear. Oh! You truly have a grown a lot. Yes, it is exactly as you say. I came alone to help because there was something I want to tell you. Does it have something to do with Ouroboros? In part, yes. But what I wish to tell you is the tale of a girl. Oh my god, goosebumps. A small girl given the title of the Severin Shane. Your story! Oh no, 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 no. A girl who was empty. There was an assassin's organization that had existed since the Dark Ages. The Order of the Moonlight Horse. At the young age of 13, the girl was its second most skilled member. The only thing she had were her title, which had been passed down to her, and the designation, Kruger. She spent her days simply carrying out her missions with soulless eyes, an emotionless assassin doll. Then one day, the Order met its end. At the hand of Ouroboros. At the time, the society was still in its early days, and the two groups were in full conflict behind the scenes. Lowy, lowy. But against the combined assault of the Almighty Conflagration, the Blade Lord, and the Steel Maiden, wait, 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 sorry, the, professor too. the Moonlight Horse stood no chance. They were nearly completely destroyed. Its members, known as the Thousand Oathbreaker and the Golden Butterfly, 
became the fourth Anguis and Enforcer Number Three, respectively. Wait, 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 wait. Thousand of Breaker and the Gold Waterfront became the fourth Anguis. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. While the empty girl was welcomed into the society as Enforcer Number Nine. But even after becoming an enforcer, the girl's life did not change. She obeyed the requests of the Anguis, performing many missions. She was always free to refuse, but as she knew no other way of life, she simply accepted. But it was through that bleak existence that her bond with the Reinford family came to be. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The girl was given a mission by the sixth Anguis to infiltrate a city named Ruer in the northeast part of the Empire. Uh, wait, don't tell me. The mission required her to meet with a certain person, but a terrible accident occurred. Okay. The mission ended in failure. The girl suffered serious injuries, and the other person lost their life. <gasps> that person was Chairman Arena's husband, Lady Elisa's father. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Holding feelings? <laughs> Master Franz Reinfurt. Never mind, I cannot hold anything. <laughs> Yet Lady Arena saved the girl, the one whose actions resulted in her husband's death. She... Oh. I had never had a name before then. Kruger was simply a designator to differentiate me from others who have held the same title. One would simply change their name as the mission required. That was the way of the Order. But Lady Arena gave me the name, Sharon. Suddenly, this empty girl had a place to belong, as a maid of the Reinford family. Since that point, I have continued to serve the Reinfords, while still belonging to Ouroboros. I was able to do so, thanks to the freedom the society grants its enforcers. All of that... Why tell me all that? Why now, all of times? Lucia doesn't know any of this, right? <laughs> I simply felt this was a good opportunity. Someday, when you feel the need, please tell Lady Elisa. For you see, there is the possibility that I may not be there for her. Sharon. <laughs> it is merely a possibility. It is absolutely impossible for my love and devotion for the chairman and my lady to ever leave me. Oh, but of course, if you and Lady Elisa were to become a couple, <laughs> I would serve you as your own personal maid as well. I, I, uh, I, I was going to say like something about Rina and Alicia. As, well, it's too bad. As, Respect to our Sharon. I just gonna hear her. That's uh, quite a tempting offer. Thank you for sharing something so important with me. You have taken care of me. No. Are you guys right? <laughs> From. Mm, I cannot even read. <sighs> Me, the other of members of class 7. Of course, Alicia will always be there to help. Master Reen. <laughs> you truly have become dependable. However, for you to say all that to an older woman such as myself is a tad unfair. Perhaps I should begin serving you as your own personal maid right now. 
Alright, I think that's enough temptation for the time being. I I wasn't expecting. <sighs> Damn it. I'm like, well, we're right, okay. It's still morning. <laughs> okay, 1.30 p.m. I didn't expect Scarlet Pleroma grass. No doubt about it, it's the same grass from two years ago, but red. You're right, the size and shape are the same. The grass, that grass holds the same mysterious energy that support former President Croix. Do you feel the presence of the higher elements here too? Yes. Just like the forest in Sutherland. Not descriptive. Unsorted. It's just like the ones that appear in the old schoolhouse basement and in the North Highlands. That on the top of the magic knights mean that the great of the Empire are appearing here now too. Sharon, I'm just going to come out and ask you. Can the society do anything like this? Ah. Uh -huh. Well, let's see. I should say the possibility is not zero. Let's say the society generally has a tendency to pursue orbit technology. It would be a bit strange for them suddenly be using spiritual monsters such as scripteds and dark age constructs like magic knight. I see, thank you. I feel like I just hear some incredible confidential information, but very well. The question remains then, why is the scarlet pleroma grass appearing now? Is it possible this is the result of the zero chart? Kia! Though she's in hiding, perhaps her miracle's power is manifesting again. No, no way! It's been confirmed she's no longer has that miracle's power. Oh no, after that, oh, that intelligent division made sure of that right after the occupation. Her and Lloyd were made into material witness too. Besides, I know her and she's not the kind of girl who does these things. Her personality is irrelevant. There is a chance her powers have returned and are currently out of control. Th that's... No, I'm certain Kia Bannings... Oh my god, oh, um... Has nothing to do with... Oh, so cute. Huh? Kia Bannings. So that is the name of the girl now as the Zero Child. Yes, though her surname is still up to refer to <laughs> She's using his names and she doesn't have any family of her own, yeah? But how can you be so sure she's not involved? We were contacted by the Governor General just now. He was very clear we have absolute no need to worry about the ma bannings at this time. He has requested me we investigate the crypt and the grass under the assumption the society is involved with. Such a request. But thanks goodness. He should have just told us that when we saw him. Do they, they know something? Uh, why did this have to happen at the same time as the inspection team's visit? It feels like more the simple coincidence to me. Yeah, now that you mention it. Has the inspection team already entered a crossbell? Oh yes, about that. That sounds like in jeans for anybody, but that means everyone, we are going to greet our guests. Ooh, can we see them or we just gonna see helicopters? <laughs> I have never seen an inspection team before. They are coming here or where are they coming? What are we looking at? Can I see? Let me see. Uh, 
Oh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. What? Well, that's something you don't see every day. That's the flagship used by the Noble Alliance during the Erebonia Civil War. Correct. The Pantagro. I believe I hear it had been confidential by the government and give to the Imperial family. Yeah, they use it to travel for official business. Wait a second, does that mean the inspection team is... That's right, Governor Ragnitz will be on the team as a representative of the Imperial government. And Lady Irina will pre represent the economic circles of Erebonia. And let's not forget... Prince uh, Prince Alfin uh, and Prince Alfin, uh, yes. We don't care about Alfin. Ah, wait, wait, Princess Alfin. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I don't know why my mind is like Celtic, 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 whatever. I don't care how to pronounce his name. Oh my God, we're gonna see Oli. And they, they're gonna they're gonna put that thing up there. Not in the bell, like in the roof. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't fit. I'm just saying it, it just no. Oh, it did. Ah, oh, no, they, they came in a smaller. Okay, of, of course. Oh, 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 holy, holy, holy. First off, we have oh, Governor Carl that. Regnitz. He oversees the entire Imperial capital of Heimdall and is the first commoner to hold this position. Oh, ah, and mom. Here we have the chairman of the Reinford Group, Irina Reinford. It's safe to say there isn't anyone more important than her when it comes to Crossbell's economic industry. They're coming, right? Because two guards just came out. Could it be? Yes, Ooh. it's Prince Oliver. Rumor <laughs> has it this isn't his first visit to Crossbell. Of course not. Ah. Oh my word, Princess oh, Alfin. Oh, look at uh, her. Excuse me. Uh, behind Prince Oliver, we have Princess Alfin, the daughter of the Emperor. She's like simply her. an angel. The young woman with her is gorgeous oh. too. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! You came, of course. Well, I didn't expect you, <gasps> Lecter. Of course, he's an iron bolt. Iron blood. Iron blood. <laughs> too much. Too much things. That's the princess. This is an. She's an angel. The prince is really handsome too. Wow, I didn't expect to see Princess Alvin here. But it figures that your father will be part of the team, Machias. Yeah, if we didn't even know about the princess, it means we have fallen behind on our information gathering. The district has way too many unknowns. We'll need to shine a light through the fog if we want to have successful inspection. Hmm, why are they getting all excited without Ellie? They're all nothing but weakling wagging their tails of for the Empire. Don't say that, we all have pride in where we are from. 
and as chaos proxy you have your own duties to fulfill leave it to me why look look how beauty the, the pre okay she, she's cute but she's still an invader I'm torn but I may be leaning closer towards a bad impression oh well nothing can be done about her arrival if we could all just come to a better understanding yeah maybe right I cannot give up oh <laughs> it seems as though our guests have arrived. Oh my god, can I see your face? But your hair is already beautiful, and, you, and this is Warrior. The fool and the blazing demon should be nearby as well. The original cast has nearly all been swapped out by now. What will you do, Reem? You as well, Emma. What, what we we what do you mean what we we gonna do? I mean if you you guys try to kill them we need to defend them. That's a big ship is scary. Is it safe? A war isn't going to break out or anything right now. <laughs> I cannot promise that right now. We're fine as long as we got Loy with us, we'll be able to stop it. Is it true? Are his dear friends all? Yeah, there's not a word. <sighs> oh, come on, show me your face. Oh, Celine. No, that isn't Celine. Oh, he, he, he he's a. Mage, but who are you? <laughs> Still protecting this place, even if its residents are gone? Oh, he was the black cat. That was always here. Well then, all we can do is wait for the snake's next move. Okay, I'm also curious move. to find out what the branch campus is capable of. Wait, white hair. There's a lot of people with white hair. <laughs> Damn it. Ooh, long live Princess Alfin, Empress of my heart. I didn't expect to see Princess Alfin here. Oh, it's Prince Oliver. I haven't seen him in so long. Imperial Governor Regnitz and Chairman Irina of the er uh, Eradicated Group. Well, guess this is shaping up to the some ritzy shading, huh? It's been quite some time. I suppose I need to get used to seeing his highness without my brother by his side. After all, by this point the Sith Armor Division is... What's the matter? Is, is this sign not a pleasant one for you? Yeah, it's true, this is very fun for me. How come Speaker McDowell isn't with them? Somehow I figure Elise will be here too. Wow, both of her and the princess have become even more beautiful since I last saw them. Yeah, they really have. But I wonder why I wasn't able to contact her. By the way, are you going to meet up with Sherman Irina? I won't, but Sharon will be. Once I'm done here, I'm planning to accompany there for the remainder of her visit. All I can do is sing. Operation Breed Cage. It's too weird to even say out loud. To be honest, I may have taken the intelligent division and the railway military police a bit too lightly. Is there really nothing we can do? Nah, don't give up, Theodot. I'm sure we'll find something. Randy. Not telling how things will end up, but let's bet on them for now. Roger that. <sighs> oh. Wow. 
they don't even let me breathe. Like, I already have been hit by the Sharon story and then this. What do I do? Do I, do I stay in camp or something? Oh, yes, what? Yes, what? After war, Alicia, Tia, and Sharon say their farewell to Rin. Okay. Doa and Randy left to go work on each of their. Okay. Do we do nothing? Do we stay? Alright, let's get going. Ah, no, we are getting going. Make sure to check your equipment and buy anything else you may need before we head out. We should have time to make a run in the city before we head out onto the east highway. Oh, sure. Understood. Uh, hey, Altina, what's going on with this too? I have no idea. They start acting like this as we were watching the inspection team arrive. Is that so? I suppose they each have their concerns, but... Okay, class 7, we are now resuming our special mission. <laughs> we still need to investigate the cryptic appearance of the East Crossbell Highway. Based on how long the trip there and back will take, it will be our last activity for the day. So make sure everything else is wrapped up before that. R right. We will give it our all. Then let's go. Let me, I need to see the reaction of everybody, you know. Uh, uh, people, hi. Something happens to the VIPs, the branch campus will be looked harshly down upon. At any rate, we'll need to be prepared for anything at all times. I didn't think Prince Oliver and Princess Alfin would be here. With their arrival, the camp seems to be more driven and focused. Afternoon field exercise will be held on the east side of Knox Forest. If we find any scarlet pleromagalas, we gotta make absolutely sure we exterminate it. If we need to do, we'll switch over the Panzer Soldat training. Randy, when they were welcoming the VIPs, I didn't see Speaker McDowell anywhere. Maybe the camera just didn't catch him? Anyway, if you run into any cryptids, remember to be careful. Don't push yourself too hard. O okay. So we'll be doing survival exercise in the forest. According to Instructor Randolph, these were the most interesting ones they put Crossbell Guardian Force training through. Hearing that only motivates me further. Are we all going into the forest right now? Every time we do this, it gets harder. I'll have a time getting my footing in the forest, I got not to make sure I don't get lost either. Sounds like we're in the in for some thought field exercise. Ash, <laughs> not bad at all, Schweizer. That blonde chick you remain squeezed. When you two reunite, you are both completely off in your own little world. Yeah, she's my girlfriend. <clears throat> both of you need to focus on things. Uh, she didn't deny, but... Will she in one moment say yes? If you don't concentrate, you may get hurt. He bluntly evaded the topic. He sure as hell did. Okay, that's enough, guys. Good luck getting out of this one, instructor. Okay, what happened? It's hilarious to see a guy like Schweizer act the way he does around women. Well, I guess I got no choice but to keep raging on him about it. You know, I hear everything you just say, right? <laughs> Pretty. Forest survival, <laughs> situation like this get my heart pumping a mile a minute. Since we're already going, we may as well stay in there an extra month or so. And <laughs> nah, I should get too greedy about that. Okay, I think there is, oh no, way. Kairi. I was hesitated at first, but I'm thankful for the feel like this I feel now. With how small our group is, I got to experience a lot of things. Now I need to work hard this afternoon. I was worried because I haven't seen Prince Oliver in the news lately. It's good to see that he's doing well, even if it's just via monitor. The prince is always so elegant. 
Sandy's a fan of Prince Oliver, huh? Ha, <laughs> I had no idea. And you have no idea, Sandy. You have no idea, Sandy. You should have been in Liber. Ah, la 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 la. <laughs> Who else? Uh, oh, there is the freaking quest of the freaking Michigan. I, ha I have talked and I have seen all shop. I haven't find that freaking Michigan that she wants. <laughs> Princess Alfin looks as lovely as ever. Yeah, she really does. She's like a princess straight out of a children's fairy tale. Have you ever seen her in person, Julieta? Well, you could say I've been up close and personal with her. What? You... Uh, uh, wait. What do I think of her? <laughs> Don't tell me, but... Now she, she did a study with her in the girl... Thing Academy in Hemeldorf? What? <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. I had the opportunity to talk with her once, if only briefly. I see. Louise and Tatiana are like machines with how quickly they go through our assignments. And Julieta clearly not strange to this computer business herself. It seems I have a lot of catching up to do. I'll take a look then. I don't know. Take it. Hmm, this is wonderful. Good. More? Okay. Thank you. Thanks, you've been a great help. <laughs> You're welcome. She's smiling. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Oh my god, this time we are in Kainting a lot. Anyway, I have to get ready for the afternoon field exercise. Prepare operation for when a high ranking hackers attack. This is so fun to study. Check. I don't know. It seems like you haven't made them. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I need with you. Pr Prince Oliver and Princess Alfin. Ah, they're both just so wonderful. Not to be greeted, but Prince Cedric. I would still call the, call him mm, Ced Cedric. It's Cedric. It's Cedric. I'm go. Oh, never mind. I'm trying to. I'm trying to roast him, but I'm bad at that. Were there too? Oh, that's be just perfect. Oh no, I don't have time to waste daydreaming. I need to focus more on field exercises. I. I'll take a look. I don't know. You don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Damn it. No progress. Never progress. No, this is not the way. This is not the way, right? Okay. Let me in again. I need, I think, Towa and Michael. Oh, I cannot go in there. Okay, never mind. Towa and Balimar? Oh, wait. Yes, yeah, they are here. Hello, everyone. You have one error remaining to investigate for cryptids. Good luck. Thanks. I may need to call on Balimar if things get serious. That's fine. Things have settled down here, so do what you need to. So where's the inspection team headed? I like to know too if it's okay. They won't be going anywhere today. Tonight they will be having a special dinner at the Orchis Tower. So even if they do have an effect on our missions, it won't start until tomorrow then. Well, considering what happened last time, we should expect the unexpected. True, but still there's no need for us to become paranoid. There is a reason for me and for all of us to become paranoid. Simple focus on your investigation for now. Right, we head out soon. Hey, don't be concerned. Oh my god. Don't expect the unexpected. Valimar <laughs> and Tita. Vali. Tita is here and Vali is. Okay. Tita? Yes. So t tell me about Prince Oliver. Alicia and Tio went back to the RF building. It's really an honor that I even thought they were both so busy they still help us out a lot. I need to work hard to live up to their standards. Damn it. I thought you were going to say something about Prince Oliver. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pablo. Looks like Panzer Soldan's maintenance is the main part of the, this afternoon mission. You stuff out though, so it's gonna be just me and Tita. Oh well, just go take giving it our all. Okay. Valley. 
Vale, you, you must be feeling something now about man and all that stuff. It seems a cryptid has appeared. I'm impressed you were able to away with it so easily. Well, I say Sharon play a major part in that. And Kurt. <laughs> because I thought I lead lost, but Kurt appeared and I was like, okay, let's try something and it did work and that was luck. <laughs> Maybe Kurt was really prepared. That wasn't a plan, but I never have a plan with support people. Like if everybody dies or somebody dies, I can replace it or if that person is the only one. I have never got a plan. You know? Never. I, I see then. I owe her my gratitude for allowing me to conserve my mana. We must now determine where they may appear again. If you ever feel you are in danger, please do not hesitate to call me. Will do. <laughs> Valimar is internally available, isn't he? Yep. I think that will be everybody. Right? Yes. That's everybody. Okay guys, we gonna let it here, of course. Sharon's story was too much. And this all happened. We got Magborn, we got Campanella, we got Clotilde, we got a mysterious guy with white hair with a cat. That did know that cat was always in that building, so who could it be? White hair don't don't guys give me don't guys tell me anything. No I have no idea. Then we got everybody arriving. Prince Oliver, Princess Alvin, my sister. Uh, we got Lecter, we got Claire. We got Clotilde now in about us, of course, it's no surprise about Emma. Uh, so yeah, we, we got a lot of... Ah, we got the person in mask. Okay. Phantom B. We was in, indeed Phantom B was one time in Crossbell too. So we got a lot of things, a lot of people. Last time we did see uh, uh, Swift and the cousin of Randy. And who else appeared? Well, at the moment we did just see them and them attacking, and that was all. But here they're like pa 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 pa. I'm like, the game is like you're gonna be on fire, and this is your first day. First day, but they did say like they're gonna have a dinner, so it's like the conference is tomorrow, okay. second day. So it's like. Huh, I'm watching you. So we're gonna alert it here. I'm gonna see if I can go on to train. I did train. I, um, I need to open slots on the orbit of Altina, update my orbits maybe. And yeah, let's see how it goes. So guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. If you guys want. I'm